Hi, my name is Terry, and I'm here to share with you about this great little machine that is good for disinfecting your food and water as well as the air. It is um, it has two functions. It has an ozonating function uh, that is for disinfecting food and water as well as an anion function for producing the negative ions to help combat the positive ions given off by all the electrical devices within your home. So um, we'll do kind of a, a little demonstration of what you do with your food and water. Uh, basically, uh, it's just a power button. I do want to say that this is fully FDA approved. Uh, and it has um, different features here. One is fruits and vegetables. One over here is for clean water. And then the green ozone, we'll talk about more later. And then the blue anion for uh, cleaning the air. So first we'll demonstrate about how to do your clean water. So in this particular case, we're going to fill a pitcher of water and you always want to ozonate in either glass or stainless steel so if you have a lot of like food and fruits and vegetables including your meats later you can fill up your stainless steel sink or your ceramic sink to um, to ozonate in so glass stainless steel or um, ceramic is what you would want to ozonate with okay so we just drop the little ball down into the water pitcher and hit the water indicator and basically you need um, you need one minute for one liter of water so technically this is about a two liter uh, container so you would need like two minutes to ozonate it and once it's ozonated what it's doing is it's um, it's removing any of the possible viruses or bacteria that may be in your water uh, things like lead and nickel and cadmium uh, these are the types of uh, metals that it can also re reduce or eliminate from your water. Um, it does not re it does not eliminate fluoride. Some people have asked about that. Uh, the best way to get rid of fluoride is through a distillation process. Uh, but it's it's great for getting rid of any of the bacterial viruses or um, certain kinds of metals that are might be within your water. So. Uh, that's basically what happens. We usually, the machine works in increments of five minutes. I just generally let it run for five minutes even though it only needs two. Uh, so if you were in a time constraint process, you, you could stop it when it has, you know, three minutes left to go. Uh, since we're doing a videotape, I'm going to move on to the food part of it though. What I've done is uh, we have some organic apples. I, li I typically like to buy organic produce. But there are times when we can only buy conventional because the organic's not available. Uh, in this case, with the with the organic apples, uh, you place them in the water, and again, you just move the little aerator of ozone into the bowl filled with whatever fruits or vegetables you would like to ozonate. It can be, um, you know, conventional or organic. The difference is. Typically when we're doing fruits and vegetables, it's the same process, it's still ozone, but you come over here and click oh, for fruits and vegetables. And again with organic, we'll do 10 minutes. If it was conventional, I would run it for 20 minutes. Uh, the difference being is that your organic doesn't have the same chemicals of pesticides or dyes, that type of thing that they might impose on your fruits and vegetables during um, its growing period or after uh, after harvesting processing. So uh, with this we'll just go ahead and do the organic apples for for about 10 minutes. Yeah? Okay, so that's just for demonstration, right? So for now let's move along. Um, if you have uh, meat like poultry uh, or beef or fish, uh, pork, again you can do the same thing. Place it within the water and run the ozonator for, for uh, beef and poultry, I would definitely go 30 minutes, uh, even if it's grass spread. So um, that's something to think about. Uh, you know, if you're, most of our meats today and, and fish and everything, it's, it's hard to find a more natural way. It's usually farm raised or uh, that type of thing. So go ahead and just run it for um, 30 minutes on any of your poultry, fish, or beef or meat or anything. 
And um, when you do that, you would push the ozone button to, to do your meats. Um, so, let's see, what else can we tell you about this great little machine? It has been my new best friend for the last two years, and uh, it's made actually out of Korea. And um, there's a company out of Singapore who's been distributing it within the Southeast Asia region, and they've asked if I could help uh, share about the machine ho over here in the U.S. And um, so one of the things that I have found very useful with it as well is the air clean function, which um, you can run it for two hours or continuous with a light uh, fan noise or on silent mode. So basically what's happening is the machine is, em is emitting the negative ions to help combat all of the positive ions that are uh, discharged from our, all of our electrical equipment. And um, so, and it also, if there's any odors and things in the air, it helps to make the air like more, um, it clears it of those smells, you know, especially even if you're working in the kitchen. You can run, say like where you'd be ozonating the apples, but say you were ozonating fish, for instance, you know, and how fish has odors to it. Well, you could also push this at the same time and it will help to, it'll do both functions at the same time. So it'll clear the odors from the kitchen from all the heavy, uh, uh, odors that you might have from the different cooking and yeah <laughs> okay I think I need just a few minutes break thank you